Uh, let's start here. When I was growing up, we lived in walking distance to the Pickwood Theater. It was on Pico Boulevard, just slightly east of Westwood Boulevard. <clears throat> As a family, we didn't go to the movies that much, but I remember my mom had read about this movie, Sounder, and insist we all go as a family. And that was the first time I saw Cicely Tyson on the big screen, and I never forgot it. A heartbreaking movie involving sharecroppers trapped by racism and very bad circumstances. Cicely opposite Paul Winfield, one of the most powerful on-screen duos I've ever seen. Cicely Tyson received an Oscar nomination for her work in that movie. She received multiple Emmys for her work in the widely seen miniseries, The Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman. And in her 90s, in her 90s, she was a regular opposite Viola Davis in How to Get Away with Murder. Now, at 96 years of age, with a career that encompasses more than seven decades, Cicely is gone. We lost Cloris Leachman earlier in the week. Cloris known primarily for her fun, Cicely known for the depth and the incredible intensity she brought to her work. This was a real honor and pleasure for Jessica and myself from the 2016 Emmy Awards. We have an absolute legend with us here. Uh, Cicely Dice, I, when you hear that phrase, absolute legend, you've heard it before. It means you're old. No. <laughs> it, means you've done, it means you've done wonderful work. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I do appreciate that. Do you remember a moment where you said, I want to be an actress? That's no, what I, I wanted. I never wanted to be an actress. No, I think it's a fluke. Oh, I think we're past the fluke stage. <laughs> no, no, I, because I never went to the theater or the movies as a child. We weren't permitted to do that. We spent most of our time in church. And uh, I just happened to be walking down the street one day and someone tapped me on the shoulder and asked me whether or not uh, I was a model and who I was associated with. And I said, I'm not a model and I'm not associated with anybody. Well, you should be, she said to me. Oh, and wow. she gave me the name oh, of a goodness. school. I went, I took the course, I graduated, and, and I started going out. Started going out indeed. Her final interview, just a few weeks ago with Gail King. What does it feel like to be 96 and a legend? Miss Legend. I'm amazed every single day I live. Do you feel like you have more to do? Yes, that's yeah. why I'm still here. I mean, what my life became is not what I expected. I had no idea that I would touch anybody. When the time comes, what do you want us to remember about you? I've done my best. That's all. She just released a memoir earlier this month. So many tributes to sort through. They all resonate with the same message, how much she mattered. Here we go. This uh, from Viola Davis. I'm devastated. My heart is just broken. I loved you so much. You were everything to me. You made me feel loved and seen and valued in a world where there's still a cloak of invisibility for us dark chocolate girls. You gave me permission to dream. Eva DuVernay, your hugs all remember how your petite arms wrapped around me like mighty branches of a sunlit tree, strong and warm. You'll love all remember. You loved me for some reason and told me often, thank you, your majesty, and bless you as you journey ahead until we meet again. From President Barack Obama, in her extraordinary career, Cicely Tyson was one of the rare award-winning actors whose work on the screen was surpassed only by what she was able to accomplish off of it. She had a heart unlike any other, and for 96 years, she left a mark on the world that few will match. Shonda Rhimes, she was an extraordinary person, and this is an extraordinary loss. She had so much to teach, and I still have so much to learn. I'm grateful for every moment. Her power and grace will be with us forever. And just last week, last week at the inauguration, Cicely sent out a tweet to Amanda Gorman. Look at this exchange. This from Cicely to Amanda. Your words remind us that we will rise, rebuild, reconcile, and recover. Thank you for your words and light. This legend's second to last week was about me, Amanda responded. I can't stop crying. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cicely. You've given us black girls everything. Talk about being relevant to the very, very end. Mm. She will be missed. So, so admired. Wow. There we go. Go back to you guys. Wow. Incredible, Sam. Thank you.